so overall, I played quite a bit of the Battlefield 5 beta. Overall, I did enjoy it, but that's not to say that it was perfect. I'll start off with some of the things that I enjoyed first. First of all, I definitely like what they were going for. A more realistic, slower, tactical version of Battlefield is something that I think all of us wanted. Battlefield 5 was nice, but a lot of times it did just seem like you were running and gunning, and there weren't many tactics to what you were doing, so I definitely liked the change of pace. Probably two of the things contributing to this are not as much regenerating health and not as much 3D spotting. 3D spotting is almost completely eliminated in this game. Sure, every once in a while, according to different things, you'll see a 3D spot over somebody, but just clicking spot on somebody does not work anymore. Now if you click the spot button, it does a Rainbow Six Siege-esque, it sort of marks a point on the map where all of your teammates can see, or squad mates at least. Now your health doesn't regenerate fully. It'll regenerate a little bit, but not up to its full value, unless you get hit down to a point where it's enough that your health regenerate all the way back up to full health. So if you get hit down to 30 health, it only regenerate 30% up to about 60. This can be a good thing considering now that if you start a gunfight with somebody, they're not always going to come back at you a couple seconds later with full health. Which is very nice, but the downside is that sometimes you don't really remember that you're not on full health and you'll kind of run into a gunfight and just get killed instantly. Now, I'm not necessarily somebody who's always paying attention to my health, but after playing games like Battlefield 1, where your health always regenerates fully, it's just kind of a throw-off to not always have that same consistency. Now, once I get used to that, I really don't think it's going to bother me that much, but it's just something that I kind of notice could throw you off every once in a while. Now, gunplay in general, I think is really, really good. The way the weapons feel are definitely a little bit different than Battlefield 1. In Battlefield 1, sometimes the weapons felt a little bit like, I don't want to say toy guns, but just the way that they looked whenever you'd fire them. They looked realistic, but they just had a weird feel to them. It felt good, but it just wasn't exactly what you'd expect from, well, the feeling of a gun. Battlefield 5 feels a little bit more hard hitting with its weapons, considering, like I said before, you don't have as much health and the gunplay overall is just different. But overall, I just think it feels really, really good. Sniping can feel a little bit weird with the controller because some of the dead zones feel kind of unusual. Not necessarily bad, but just a little bit different than previous games. But I have no doubt that those issues will be resolved. Now I'm going to move on to a couple of the more objectively bad things and not subjective things. First of all, the game is kind of, I mean, really, really glitchy. Even for beta stage, it feels a little bit more like an alpha. I never really got the chance to play the alpha because I, well, couldn't really get into it because I'm not a popular person. But I think it's safe to assume that it's not really in the best state. It's fun to play, that's for sure. But as I said before, it's very, very glitchy. Tons of bodies will just randomly be floating in the air after you kill people. And other things just don't really feel right. Like spawn protection isn't necessarily a glitch, but I do have a clip. Uh, if I can find it, I'll put it in here. If I don't, you'll just have to take my word for it. But I literally put a good two mags into somebody, and it might have been two enemies if I saw it wrong, but it looked like I put like seven bullets into this one guy and didn't do any damage whatsoever. I literally started running away probably two or three times not realizing that I didn't kill the person and had to aim back at them. Now, that could have been a freak glitch or just weird incident, but I've also heard other people saying that the spawn protection in this game is just terrible, which I can kind of believe. This video is just barely scratching the surface of what I don't like, but also what I do like. Overall, I think the game feels really, really good. Is it glitchy as all heck? Yeah. Am I happy that they delayed it to November? Yes, at first I thought they were just, you know, delaying it because of games like Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out, but after playing the beta, I can definitely see that it was probably more of an intelligent choice. But, I'm still very excited for this game, uh, definitely more videos of it will be coming in the future. But as always guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.